Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This is Acid and Bases pH lesson number four. Okay, we have two problems to solve in this particular lesson. An aqueous solution of BaOH has a H3O plus of 1.0 times 10 to 11 molarity. What is its OH and what is its molarity? Okay, pretty cool. All right, so now what we need to do is this. We go ahead and set the formula. Hydronium ion. the OH ion equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 in square. Where did I get that from? Right here. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so now let's go ahead and put in our information. We know the H3O ion. So we're going to go 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11 M times the OH ion. This is so easy. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. If you guys out there find this pretty easy too. Okay. So now what we get is we get our OH ion. And that's going to equal... over... So that M is going to cancel out one of those M's, right? And when we do the math, that's going to give me an OH ion of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3n. Pretty cool, huh? But we're not done yet. Because we also want to know what is its molarity, right? So to do that, we have to look. Oh, look, this BHOH has a 2 in it right there. See that 2? So we're going to have to take this number right here and multiply it by 2. So we're going to get 2 times 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3m. That's because of this 2 on that OH ion, because we have two of them, right? So that's going to give me 2.0 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Pretty snarly, huh? All right, now, all we have to do now is go ahead and determine uh, the molarity. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to do it using this again right here, this particular formula. We could also use uh, this formula right here if we wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it the hard way. And so let's go ahead and set it up again. So now we have, uh, let me show you. You ready? So what we're going to do is we're going to determine the molarity. So we've got the OH ion value there. So now um, let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, so now we're going to plug it in for this guy right here. Yes. So we're going to go. We're figuring out the hydroxide molarity. So we're going to plug it in for the H3O. I know that's kind of weird, but that's what we're going to do. We're looking for the molarity of that. All right. Okay, so we got that. So our OH 
is going to equal 5.0 times 10 to the negative 12 n by the time we do the math. And that's your answer. Pretty darn snarly. And again, like I said, you could go about it using this formula right here, which would be a whole lot easier to do. But that's totally up to you. All right, now let's look at the next problem. Okay, given 1.0 times 10 negative fifth malaria, what's the pH of the solution? And is it an acid? Okay, so watch what we do. Watch this. Show how much easier these other formulas are. You got pH here equals negative log. Yes, the logarithms, you gotta love them. H3O plus, right? So you just simply go pH equals the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. <laughs> Just use your calculator, guys. And this gives you a pH of five. Now, is that an acid? Yes. It's an acid. Because remember, seven or less is an acid. Seven is actually neutral because water is amphoteric, which means it's both an acid and a base. However, anything less than seven is definitely an acid. And so, yes, it's definitely an acid. Well, that's it for this lesson, guys. You be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosine Chemistry.